Hi everyone, good day. My name is Adrian Cleve Icaneda and I am here to talk about Kohlberg's theory of moral development. Kohlberg's theory of moral development is a theory that focuses on how children develop morality and moral reasoning. This theory suggests that moral behavior occurs in a series of six stages, that moral logic is primarily focused on seeking and maintaining justice. Moral development is a process by which people develop this distinction between right and wrong, and that is morality, and engage in reasoning between the two, moral reasoning. First level is a pre-conventional morality. Stage one of pre-conventional morality is the obedience and punishment. This is the earliest stage of moral development. Obedience and punishment are especially common in young children but adults are capable of expressing this type of reasoning. People at this stage see rules are as fixed and absolute. Obeying the rules is the most important thing because it is a way to avoid the punishment. Stage two of pre-conventional morality is individualism and exchange. At the individualism and exchange stage of moral development, Children account for individual points of view and judge action based on how they serve individual needs. An example of this stage is the person steal money to buy food for his hungry children. In this scenario, children or the witnesses tend to say right, that his doing is right because of the personal needs. Level 2 of moral development is the conventional morality. Stage 3 of conventional morality is the interpersonal relationship, which is often referred to as the good boy or the good girl orientation. This stage of interpersonal relationship of moral development is focused on living up to a social expectation and roles. There is an emphasis on conformity of being nice and the consideration of how choices influence relationship. For example of this stage is, a child gives away his lunch to his strict children because she thinks doing so means being nice. Stage 4 of conventional morality is maintaining social order. This stage is focused on ensuring that social order is maintained. At this stage of moral development, people begin to consider society as a whole when making judgments. Example of this is a policeman was offered a under-table money, but he refuses this because he believes that it is his duty as an officer to have peace and order in his society. The last level of moral development is the level 3, which is the post-conventional morality. Stage 5 of post-conventional morality is a social contract and the individual rights. The idea of a social contract and individual rights cause people in the next stage to begin to account for the differing values, opinions, and beliefs of other people. Individual looks at various opinions and values of different people before coming up with a decision of the morality of his or her action. The last stage of post-conventional morality is the stage 6, which is the universal principles. At this stage, the final stage of moral reasoning, this orientation is when a person considers universally accepted ethical principles. Individuals follow these internalized principles of justice even if they conflict with the law and rules as the individual become attached to his own principles of justice. The theory of moral development played an important role in the development of moral psychology. To sum up everything, I can say that the moral development Theory is very important to all aspects of life. Theory of moral development has been criticized. Yes, indeed, this theory played an important role in the emergence of the field of moral psychology. Researchers or individuals continue to explore how moral reasoning develops and changes through life as well as the universality of these stages. Understanding these stages offer a helpful insight into the ways that both children and adults make moral choices and how moral thinking may influence the decisions and behaviors of his or her actions.